Okay, welcome back. Uh, so last video we got the sort of general map set up, so you can see on the screen that we've got pretty much the majority of our level done. Some advanced bits which we'll uh, we'll add in. Um, so what we need to do is start thinking about one getting Mario working, so we can jump around, move around, and then getting some bad guys and things like that. Okay, so what we need to do first is make a sprite for Mario. So I'm going to do it separately, just so it's like you can tell a clear difference what we're going to do in this video. So we can do a let, spell it right, let Mario, okay? So I'm going to go right to the bottom, above all tiles, and I'm going to make my Mario. Now I do have a sprite sheet for Mario, which I'll download and pop into here so you can see him. So here we are. I've not got a full sprite, I've just got his sort of running. I ain't got his jumping or anything like that. It's the same principle, it's just waste a bit of time. So I'm just gonna go straight into it with Mario. So let's just add to this Mario's image. And then let's do Mario image equals load image. And then I've called it Mario with a capital dot PNG. So I'm gonna have Mario as a sprite. Um, don't need to do anything about worrying about tiles or anything like that, um, because he's not a tile. We could spawn him as a tile. Doesn't really matter, but we'll see how we feel if we get on. So Mario equals a new sprite. I'm gonna spawn him at 16 in, so just into the map, and then quite a bit down, 160, so 10 um, blocks down. So it should be on the uh, on the floor, and doing 32 by 32 because that's the image size. And then we're going to do Mario dot um, rotation lock equals true because we don't want him turning when we jump on stuff. Mario dot sprite sheet equals Mario image. Um, Mario dot Annie's dot frame delay. Is eight, so it's not really quick. Then we're going to add some animations. So Mario dot add Annie's, and let's add some animations. So let's have a run, which makes sense because he runs. Row zero because we're all at row zero, and that's going to be running through two frames we've got for Mario. Then we're going to have him just stood still. It's just going to be the first frame. So we're going to do row zero. Frames one, and then I think that's it. So let's just double check. Oh, it's not liking that. So we've got that. Close in there. Do I need a comma there? I think I do. And I missed a, so I missed a colon there. So it's always good to forget your colons within the video. So we go, we've got Mario here, and there he is, looking right, let's just make him a bit smaller, Mario.scale equals 0.6, because he's quite small in the game, so let's make him a lot smaller, there we go, it looks about right, and now what we can do is we can actually add in some of this stuff here, so I'm going to make it into a function, because functions are always good, so I'm going to have move Mario. I'm going to make a function for move Mario. So function move Mario. And then what I can do is I can actually steal this code here because I've already done it. So I can just take that out, put it in there. But then what I can do is change some stuff with Mario. So I can do Mario.vel.x equals two, I think would be good for that movement. Mario dot Annie equals run and then if I'm going D dot mirror dot X equals false. So what I'll do is it is just um makes him face his original positioning which is looking to the right and then for A 
exactly the same thing, but I want it to be minus 2, and this mirror needs to be true. There we go, it's this weird little runny does, like that. And then I want to set otherwise Mario dot Annie equals stand. So I want to just chill. So there we go. Just like that. Now let's make it a little bit more awkward, a bit more complicated, because we need to get jumping in as well. So we can do if kb dot presses. Just zoom down a little bit. If I press space and Mario dot colliding with the ground, because I don't want to be able to just, otherwise we'll be able to fly, we don't want to fly. Uh, or we don't want to fly just yet. We could put that in if we wanted to. I wanted to put in some stuff in Super Mario 2. Um, or Mario dot colliding with the bricks. So let's just get some brackets in there to make it nice and obvious. So if Mario splits kind of with the ground, that or that, or now I've got some different pipes here. I've got top left, top, and top right. Now I'm not going to be on the side of one, but I am going to be on the uh, top, so I can do Mario dot colliding pipe top right or mario dot <clears throat> colliding pipe top left mario dot well dot y equals minus 10. now let's just check if i've got these brackets right so that and that. So if I press space and I'm colliding with the ground or I'm colliding with the bricks or I'm colliding with the pipe or I'm colliding with that. So if I'm colliding with any of those and I'm pressing space, I should be able to jump. So let's see how it works. Can't float in the air. So it's semi working, but you see, because of my ors, which I've slightly got wrong, um, what I need to do is stop him from constantly, even though I quite like the mechanic, it's not quite working as it should. So I think that that bracket there needs to go here. So press space. And any of those bits. So let's jump in, that's fine. That's working. Okay, so we have got Mario moving successfully. So the next thing we need to do is look at spawning in some of these bad guys. Okay, um, now where I am currently. On the map, there are two Goombas. So if I can put two G's in there, and that's going to be our tile for making Goombas. So we need to make them though. So let Mario and Goomba. Let's get rid of Grammarly. So I should use it ever, so I don't know why I've even got it anymore. Um, and we'll do it both Mario. So we'll do let. Oh, not that. Goomba equals a new <laughs> group like that. Goomba dot collider equals dynamic. Goomba dot rotation lock equals true because we don't want him going stupid. Um, Goomba dot image. We'll put something in there in a minute. We need to load it in. Goomba dot tile equals g because I just said. Um, Goomba dot width equals sixteen 
Goomba dot height equals 16. And then I'm going to add its own property called facing. Goomba dot facing. So it's looking the right way. So we want it to be sort of moving this way first. Um, so let's get the picture, which I've got here. Just a picture. It's not it's not animated, this one. Um, so there he is. Might as well move the background at some point. Um, let's load it in. Goomba image. So I go my image and then I want Goomba.png and then okay so if this works correctly should mean we've got two little Goombas there which we do because I'm using using the tile bit which is really good. Um, so now we're going to make another function called move enemies and we're going to just make that here don't need Mario anymore function move enemies and then what we're going to do is essentially go through each Goomba and make it start walking around so I'm going to say for g of Goombas do I call it Goombas or do I call it Goomba? I call it Goomba so let's get rid of that so for every single Goomba um, we're going to set the velocity I'll explain this code in a second. So basically, when I created this originally, I found what they did is they sort of got stuck in a position, just jumped around, and they looked a bit daft, and they just got stuck either on themselves, that like they are now, or they just didn't work. They just went to a pipe and got stuck. So we're going to fix that. So if g dot colliding pipe left, so if they're touching basically this part or this part in this case um, so if I'm climbing with the pipe left for more than two frames so greater than two g dot facing hmm, what a stupid mouse so I want to change the facing so I'll be one or minus one so I'm just going to times it by negative one to do that and then we're doing the riff. If g dot colliding with itself or somebody else in the group, if it just touches it, I want to do exactly the same thing. So it swaps its positions all the time. And then I want to do exactly the same thing. I suppose I could put this all in a big R, but I don't really like doing that. Um, there we go. So hopefully that'll start moving. So they're sort of getting stuck a little bit there. I think it's due to its facing, its original facing. I think it'll be not getting changed, I think. Um, so let's just check all that's correct. Looks all right to me. So let's just go through before we start the game and just make sure all of their uh, velocities are correct. So let's just do four G of Goomba. Feels kind of weird saying Goomba all the time. G dot bell dot x equals minus one. So they're sort of getting stuck on each other a little bit there. So let's see what's up. So let's look at the tile placement because I don't think this is actually right anywhere because in the actual Mario. Level one. Let's have a little look. Um, for what it's supposed to look like. So there's one there underneath that first set of bricks. So there needs to be a Goomba there. So I'll put that there. Then there's nothing there. One Goomba there. Two Goombas there. So one Goomba there, and then. Two Goombas there, and there is some up here as well. So I suppose we can just 
put them in there as well. Just for good measure. I'm going to see how it's looking. So they're working out all right. Oh, that seems working fine. Okay, so it looks like it's working. So they're a little bit glitchy there, but that's mostly working. So one thing we need to get doing now is we need to pop in the rest of our map, which is, if you looked in the previous video, I put it in the description. Um, because we need our full map working so we can get our Goombas and so we can play. We also, which is really important, need to actually have the camera moving. So what we're going to do is just here, we're going to say if Mario dot x is less than 230, I'll explain this in a second. So camera dot x equals 230. Else camera dot x equals Mario dot x. This is because if you just set Mario dot x, you'll the camera will spawn see our railway over here, which we don't want. So but we want it so once we get to a certain point, then the camera starts following. But really the camera needs to be here. Whatever this is. So um I think that's down a little bit to the width and height of my screen. Doesn't seem too bad though, but I don't like that. It seems too too far for me. Just I don't want to start all the way over here. It doesn't doesn't quite look right. Even if it's a bit more, that's fine. So let's just do. So what's the camera dot x need to be? It needs to be let's uh, let's try three hundred. Should we try four hundred? I just want to move it so it's not. That'll do for now, but it's probably 450 in it. Ooh, just a bit off. So, game starts. And then I should. There we go. I'm not very good using the keyboard. Now, because we haven't got any collisions for the Goombas, that's not going to work. And I've just died because I'm useless. Um, and I'm just falling forever. So that's about right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to paste in my completed set of tiles, which was from the um, comments that I put in. Just because I know that it's all fully done then. And we've got a full map, or full-ish map. Go. Do what I should do. I should honestly just have it so I can just float around. So I don't seem to like P5 play sometimes. Me holding my um, hold my keyboard down or something. So this is a full map, as you can see. We've got Goomba spawning. I'm probably missing a few though because there seems to be no enemies. I was one here. I can move them, which isn't great. And then finish level, and that's my castle. Obviously, it's just a placeholder at the minute. So that's spawning our Goombas in, and that is spawning uh, Mario and getting him moving. Please like and subscribe. And what we'll look at next is getting the um, killing mechanic for killing the Goombas. We'll flush it out, put some more bits in, and we can start looking at doing the turtles.